Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a recipe for you that is perfect for fall, perfect for winter, perfect for meal prep. It's also healthy, high protein, gluten-free, and vegan. We are making my tried and true vegetarian chili recipe that is made in the slow cooker. You can also cook it on the stove. I think you could also make it in the instant pot. It has this really lovely, like meaty kind of texture thanks to my favorite ingredient, which you'll see inside the video video and it also just has tons of flavor and I have a few like tweaks that I've made to classic chili to make it even more flavorful. So if you are a chili fan, you are absolutely going to love this recipe. It is so simple to make and I can't wait to show you how to do it. So before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button that is right below this video and the recipe as always is linked down in the description box. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so like I said, we are using a slow cooker for this recipe, so we are gonna just add everything in. And we are starting with some red onion, as well as some chopped bell pepper, some chopped jalapeno pepper for a little kick, some garlic, one can of kidney beans, and one can of black beans. You can also just use two cans of chili beans, as well as a 28 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, some regular white quinoa, and then our spices are chili powder, cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. And to finish everything off, we are adding in vegetable broth. You are going to give this a quick stir so that it's combined and then you can just pop the lid on and we are setting this on high for four hours or you can cook it on low for like six to eight hours. Once your slow cooker has done its thing, your chili will be nice and thick and gorgeous. You can take the lid off and give it a stir. If it's a little bit too thick for your liking, I like thick chilies, you can add a little bit of water or extra vegetable broth. But either way, this is pretty much all you gotta do to make it. It's so good and so easy. So now I'm gonna share how I like to serve this vegetarian chili. So we're gonna scoop it into our bowls, of course. And once you have your serving in there, you can top it with something creamy. I like to do coconut yogurt, but you could also do a vegan sour cream. And then something spicy. For that, we're going to do some sliced jalapeno. Then I like to do avocado, just like adds a nice extra layer of creaminess. And avocado is great on everything, pretty much. And then I'm going to do some crunchy tortilla chips that I just kind of like crumbled with my hands, as well as some green onions. And... This is just like the perfect balance of everything. Spicy, creamy, crunchy, a little bit of a bite from the onions, and this is honestly just one of the best chilies. I really hope that you guys give it a try. It's great for meal prep, like I said. Also serves a crowd, so it's great for football season, and it's definitely meat eater approved. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our delicious vegetarian chili. This recipe is a classic. It is definitely a crowd pleaser. It's one of those things that you can make a huge batch of. It's freezer friendly, it's meal prep friendly, and it's also really great for meat eaters because it kind of has that meaty like texture thanks to the quinoa. So I challenge you, if you live with somebody who swears by only ground beef chili, that you make this recipe and see what they think because I have a feeling they're going to love it. So if you do wanna make it, as always, the link is down in the description box. The recipe is up on the blog with instructions, ingredient list, everything you need to make it. If you do end up making it, I would love to know what you think. Please come back to this video. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing your feedback on the recipes because I love seeing what you guys make. And if you are not yet already part of this awesome community here on YouTube, I would love to invite you to subscribe. It's so easy. All you have to do is just click the red button that is right below this video that says subscribe and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here. It means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.